Hey everyone, welcome once again. In this Prima Pro tutorial, I'll explain you how to get masking and luma fret transitions as seen in my previous video. Both transitions are interesting for creating a cinematic look in videos. So let's jump into Prima Pro to start creating today's transitions. We will basically use these video clips to make the transitions. All the video clips here are about sunset. The first thing we are gonna do is drag the second video and place it on top of the first video. The transition area or the duration of this transition will be 3 seconds. Now you should pay attention, in the first video the sun is here and in the second video the sun's position is not same as in the first video. So what we have to do is we have to change the sun's position to make the transition seamless. So right click on the footage to select speed and duration. Check this box reverse speed and hit ok. See the sun's position has changed. Now it is time for the masking. To make it easy, we should change zoom level of the program monitor to 25%. Next, take the pen tool under opacity and adjust the masking feather value to 350. Now we can select the mask on before drawing the mask. Draw a mask like a rectangle out of the frame. You can see here the feather value line that should be out of the frame. So let's do it by changing the position of the masking points. This time we have to bring the time indicator to the first frame of the second video as we are gonna create a keyframe for this mask path by clicking on this stopwatch. If you select the mask on, you can see the masking position of this keyframe. But the problem is we can't see the second video. So check this inverted to see the second video. Now we have to change the masking points to make the transition. So drag the time indicator to the center of the transition area. Then make sure the mask on is selected. Create new masking points and change their position. In Premiere Pro when changes are made, a new keyframe is automatically created for the frame at which the changes was made. At this moment we must drag the time indicator to the end of the transition area and again change the masking points. When changing the masking points, make sure the mask feather line is out of the frame. Now we have to uncheck the inverted as our masking is done. If I select mask on again so that you can understand it better how this masking transition is actually working. Now change the zoom level to fit. It is time for the second transition. So first drag the third video and place it on the top of the second video. If I move the time indicator you can observe the sun's position of both videos is not same. In this video, it is not possible to reverse the speed in order to change the sun's position as that would be result in reverse walking. So that we can apply the horizontal flip effect from the effects section. Now the sun's position is better than before. You can make it best by zooming in and changing the position of this video. At this moment, we need to apply the gradient wipe effect. So let's go to the effects section, locate the gradient wipe effect and apply it to the third layer of the video. Now make sure the third video is selected. Then navigate to the effect controls and drag the time indicator to the beginning frame of the video. Click on the stopwatch of the transition completion to set a keyframe and change its value to 100%. After that, move the time indicator to the end of the transition area. Finally add another keyframe for the transition completion and set its value to 0. As I move the time indicator so you can see the transition is a bit harsh. I will make it smoother by adjusting the transition softness. I think around 80% is acceptable. For the gradient layer, we need to select video 2 as the source as it transitions from this video to the final video. The next step is to click the invert gradient option and you will notice changes in the program monitor as a result. I will create a pause in this transition for a moment. To achieve this, we can add a keyframe, set its value to around 80%. Then while holding down the alter key, duplicate this keyframe by dragging it a few frames to the right. Now we can apply ease in and ease out to the keyframes to make the transition smoother. Let's preview the video. You know transitions are powerful tool for creating cinematic videos. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This channel is dedicated to always providing new and innovative techniques to edit videos. So make sure to check out other tutorials. Thank you for watching this Prima Pro tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.